Hi guys, today I'll be showing you my wavy hair tutorial using a curling iron. If you're new to my channel, my name is May and I create beauty and fashion content. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my weekly videos. I'm starting off with dirty hair and that's because my hair holds a better curl when it's not freshly washed. Now, I'm not going to say how dirty my hair is because you guys might probably judge me. I'm just trying to prolong my fresh blowout. Oh, I also want to mention to you guys, I got my hair cut and tone so it probably looks darker on screen but my baby lights are still there and the pieces that frame my face are still lighter just not as brassy as before and my hair is so long you probably can't see it since the camera is cutting it but I only cut off like two inches so basically all my dead ends this picture was my hair inspiration I love Olivia Munn's hair color if you guys want to see a more in-depth hair cut and color video make sure to check out this video I'm using the bedhead curling iron it's one inch it has definitely seen better days I've been using it ever since high school but it works so I'm turning it on I like to do like 350 360 400 is definitely too high for me and not necessary for my hair the first step is to apply heat protecting spray I'm currently using the Tresemme heat tamer and then I'm just gonna brush my hair with the Kristen S brush to section my hair I like to just split it in half down the middle so I'm going to be doing like a center part. So what I have right now, and then I'll put this side in a ponytail. You can section it off even more if you have thicker hair, but since this is like my everyday waves, I just want to do it like kind of quickly and that usually means I'm not going to section it off even more. For my front pieces, since they are now shorter, they're about chin length, I'm not going to apply the heat for too long since I don't really want to wave, I more want like a bend in my hair. All the pieces will be going away from the face and I'm doing this opening up the clamp so it can evenly distribute all the heat and then I'm leaving the ends out about an inch an inch and a half or so. And as you can see, I didn't leave it on for too long. So again, I'm curling away from the face, opening up the clamp. I'm just leaving a little bit at the ends. Now usually I would wait until this side cools before I touch it, but I'm actually going to go into it since I don't want it to be curly, I really want it to be wavy. And I'm actually doing like this pulling technique, so it just loosens up. And then I'm going to go in with the same brush and just go through my hair. Now I'm going to do the other side. Same thing, I'm going to use my fingers and brush out the waves. And then like I said before, I want to make sure these front pieces aren't too wavy. And like I did with this side, I actually went in with like two pieces and re, and re curled them. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Now my hair looks a little bit flat at the top and I really want more volume. So I'm going to go in with the Dove Dry Shampoo. This one's really great and it's going to absorb all that oil since I haven't washed my hair in a while. Look at that guys, it's like instant volume. Okay, and then back to my middle part. Next, I'm going in with the Kristen S Working Texture Spray. This will again just add more texture to the middle and the ends of my hair. Now this will just give a more lived in look and not look so polished. And to finish it all off, I'm gonna go in with the Beauty and Planet Mimosa and Macadamia Nut Hair Oil. And this I'm gonna to focus towards the ends. And if you need to, you can add hairspray, but since my hair can hold a wave very easily, I'm gonna skip that. My favorite hair product is the Dove Dry Shampoo since it gives me instant volume and absorbs all of the oil. What's your favorite hair product? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys next week for a new video. Bye.